Morning, everybody. It's good to talk to you. Um, last time we spoke about um, the prayer focus for the church and how God chooses to partner with his people. And there are many instances in the Bible uh, showing this. And uh, with the church's prayer focus, which you all would have had now, and I know some of you are praying with us and alongside us, um, we were seeking God and praying in unity for certain things. And some of those things are um, the government, both national and local, and how they lead through this crisis. Um, for the church and for church leadership on seeking God and his will for his people and how they shepherd us through it. Um, for workplaces, for hospitals, for schools, for people who are still having to go out to work and the fear that that brings with it. Um, for the sick, uh, for those suffering at the moment, for the lost, but most of all for God's power and majesty and sovereignty to be seen in this land through this crisis and never more so are our prayers needed so I'd encourage you to carry on doing that um, in unity with us. Um, so for the second part of um, this prayer um, focus um, and just in seeking God and what he would want us as his people to know and I was led to um, Daniel 3 and it's the story of the three Hebrew boys and the furnace um, and you know I'd encourage you to read the story I won't read it now but I encourage you to read the story um, and it's full of hope and of promise in the face of trials and do you know one thing when you read it you'll notice that never once does God pluck the Hebrew boys out of the fire and let's face it, that would show such um, a, a might of God's power and sovereignty over the situation if he just plucked them out. Um, but he chooses not to. In the, in the story, God chooses to be with the Hebrew boys in the fire. And he is shown as the fourth man in the fire. And it, that's an incredible promise to us with what we are going through in the world at the moment, that at any time, God could stop this virus in its tracks now. But he's choosing to be with us, his people, in this trial. And that's an incredible promise. So for those of you who are um, just in isolation, at home, feeling the sting of loneliness, for those who are who are struggling being away from family and loved ones, for those of us who still have to go to work and the fear that that brings, God says, I'm with you in this trial. I am the fourth man in this trial, in this furnace with you. And never will I leave you. Never, ever will I turn my back on you. He is the fourth man in the fire. And this leads me to um, a scripture that I wanted to share with you uh, that I felt goes along with this. And that's Isaiah 43, 1 and 2. And I'll read that now for you. And it says, Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have summoned you by name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. When you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned and the flames will not set you ablaze. For I am the Lord, your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Saviour. And you know, when those boys were in the fiery furnace, it says when they went into the furnace, they were bound and chained. But while they were in the furnace, when they were with God, they were unbound. They were walking about. They were conversing with God. And, you know, it says that when they left the trial, when they left the furnace, not one hair on their head was singed. Their clothes weren't scorched. Their bodies weren't burned. God was with them through it all. So that's just, I feel, what God's heart would be saying to us today. If we could hear the audible voice of God, it would be saying, I'm with you in this. I see all of it 
and I am with you in it. So be encouraged today through the words of scripture, through the words of Daniel 3 and through the scripture of Isaiah 43, 1 and 2. God is near. God is near to us. He is with us. He sees all and he knows. Thank you. See you soon.